Quitting smoking is one of the hardest habits to break, and many people have turned to e-cigarettes to help, but are they safe? Well, Dr. Faisal Ahmad is my guest in tonight's Ask the Doctor segment. He is a pulmonologist with Mountain Medical Pulmonary and Sleep Center. First off, thanks so much hey, for coming back you on the show. Me. You bet. We appreciate it. Okay, let's start with the smoker. Are they safe for the smoker? Well, a lot of people that smoke now use e-cigarettes to help quit smoking, and right. that's not, it's not regulated by the FDA or the CDC, or it's not recommended for people that smoke to quit smoking using e-cigarettes. So there's a lot of misconception. People think that e-cigarettes are used to help quit smoking. That's not the case at all. We have medications that we use specifically for people that smoke and they want to quit smoking. And you think they're more effective than e-cigarettes? Absolutely. And okay. e-cigarettes are not proven to be safe. There's a lot of cancer-causing substances in e-cigarettes for the person that smokes and the person exposed to the vapor that comes out of that. Because there is nicotine. There's no tobacco in them, but there is still nicotine, and nicotine is the cancer-causing agent? Yeah, nicotine is the addictive substance. There okay. are other cancer-causing agents that are in the substance that you're inhaling when you use these e-cigarettes, formaldehyde, cadmium, lead things like that, which are known to cause cancer. Okay, let's go for the secondhand smoker, someone you know who's standing next to a person smoking an e-cigarette. What are the effects on them? Yeah, long-term, we don't know, because these are just new, kind of on the market in the last sure. five to 10 years. But again, you, they're inhaling nicotine. So people that may be asthmatic, if they're around someone that's smoking these things, they can be affected. And it has a lot of effects on, on pregnant women, on the fetus itself too. So there's a lot of just negative side effects that are, are associated with this. So it sounds to me like you're saying no on e-cigarettes. I don't recommend e-cigarettes okay. for people that are trying to quit smoking. There are other medications like Shantic, Zyban, and nicotine uh, supplements like transdermal patches, lozenges, things of that nature. And those are effective and they have been proven to be effective. And they are, and they're safe and they're proven uh, by the FDA to be used for, for smoking cessation. Isn't the problem with them though is you're not doing this? Isn't this what people still want to do? Yeah, they have to get rid of it. They have to get okay. another habit. You know, there are there are other ways to do that. And a lot of it is willpower and having social circle of people saying, hey, you got to quit smoking. If they're going to the casino and exposing themselves to constant mm -hmm. secondhand smoke, it's going to be tough to quit. Right. All right, Dr. Ahmad, we certainly appreciate your time. He is taking your questions until 6 o'clock tonight to speak with him. Just dial 858-2222.